UK people, this is the one, right? Oh, and by the way, for the people who are not receiving notifications, you have to click on the bell and click all. You can't click occasional or personalized. Won't show up. Subscribing to a channel is actually useless these days. You have to click the bell, then click something after. Defeats the purpose, right? But hey, let's go. Now, the award for the most redeemed character went to Lu Frickin Kang. A lot of people, including myself, thought the character was ruined after MKX. So yeah, good, and look at that, 52% landslide shit, okay, not close. Our boy Baraka in second place, which he deserves that. But yeah, let's get on to this one. The dreaded one, right? We've now done the most redeemed characters, characters that were done properly. Now for characters that were ran into the ground, characters that were buried, characters that were done dirty. You know how we roll, let's go. The nominees are, well in fact because we only have 5 slots we're gonna have to throw some out the way already. Quan Chi, we all know this man got buried in MKX but no one really likes him so most likely none of y'all are gonna vote for him so he's out of the way. King Jared, <laughs> y'all don't even mess with the guy so he's out of the way. Dark Raiden, supposed to be this big new imposing figure, I mean talking tough, washed Shinnok at the start of the game, kicking ass, two seconds later this guy was thrown away and discarded like a freaking cigarette. What the hell happened to Dark Raiden? Erased and forgotten. In fact there's quite a few but we're gonna stick with these five for now. Okay, I might do the rest on a community tab later on. The nominees are... Koto Khan. A character that was written properly in the comics, written strong, came into the game and was buried. Cremated. They'd done that man dirty. It was over the moment he stepped in when he lost to Jin. I already explained how this was a bad loss and how it could have been done better. Hell, I've got a video on this entire topic, the rise and fall of Koto Khan. I can say no more here than I did there. A powerful character in the comics comes to the game, he's a damsel in distress. This character was written into the ground. Koto Khan now sucks because of bad writing. You have this guy taking mad L's to characters that he should be able to defeat. Getting washed in his own town. Getting washed in his own freaking trailer for God's sake. Huh? Needing help every two seconds. I got crippled at the end of the game? Dude came out of there looking like a sucker. In the end, this man's powers, his resume of defeating people like Goro, King Gorbak. Oh, sorry. Killing Goro. Spoiler alert. It is now going to be retconned that Koto Khan killed Goro. When I blatantly saw this man chop Goro's arms off. Goro wasn't dead. Now you're telling me Koto Khan killed Goro. Okay, so that makes his resume even stronger and he's still written like a joke. Wow. Do you feel anything? Shao Kahn has crippled me, left me defenseless. Not while I am by your side. You would have me? Even with my hardened heart? I know your heart. It can change. Nominee number two. Noob freaking Cybot. My boy. I've already done a rise and fall of Noob Cybot. Again, I've covered everything there. I can do it no more justice here. Other than he was a cool character, good resume as the previous Sub-Zero, good moves, good fatality, great look, and they done nothing with him. MK11 had this guy coming out looking like a complete joke. After this poor writing, ain't nobody scared of no Noob Cybot. This guy ain't looking like no threat. And now you have people calling him Jobber Bot, disrespecting your boy. <laughs> wow, they done that man dirty. Why? Completely dropped the ball and botched the feud with Scorpion, got washed, and then ran off. And the next time you see this man, he's literally gatekeeping the well of souls. I shit you not, dude was gatekeeping the area. There's no way that thing's unguarded. 
Let's grab and go before whoever is on duty gets back. I never left. Let's go, noob. Get him. You're not rewriting history. Victors write history, and I do not lose. <laughs> what was that? Say that line again, noob cybot. You do not lose. And I do not lose. Who's writing history now? <coughs> wow. Nominee number three, Shinnok. Or should I say corrupted Shinnok? And I'll just say this, because of how poorly this guy was written in MKX, people think this guy's a shit villain. And some people think he's weak because of how he was written. You are aware that Shinnok is one of the most powerful characters in the Mortal Kombat universe, right? But I can honestly say after MKX, they ruined that character and they ruined that man's credibility. Ain't nobody checking for no Shinnok after that ridiculous writing. Here you are the character in its base form that can one-shot Scorpion, Sonya, Kenshi, and Johnny Cage. In all the five seconds, literally 10 minutes later, you have this guy job out to a character that's nowhere near his level and he's now powered up to a planetary state. When this guy was corrupting the Jinsei, he was shaking the entire planet. And this man is defeated and swept under the rug with ease in one of the worst, unbiable, unbelievable endings ever. Your boy Shinnok is now a freaking meme. Yeah? Maybe not. Nominee number four. Who do you think it is, people? Shao Kahn. And again, I'm probably going to do a rise and fall of Shao Kahn or something like that. So I won't go into much detail here, but I can tell you this. This guy was not the Shao Kahn from MK9. A complete step down. Okay? In dialogue, in power, in everything. You have people in their dialogue speeches talking mad crazy and spicy to Shao Kahn. If you hear some of the things that Sindel was telling Shao Kahn and he's just standing there when he would have taken her head off, yeah, times have changed. Essentially, Shao Kahn came into MK11 to enhance talent, to put people over. Shao Kahn was a freaking Chris Jericho of MK11 and I mean Chris Jericho from WWE, not Chris Jericho from AEW. I'm talking about at times when Chris Jericho would leave and come back to put over characters like a Fandango, like a Bray Wyatt, okay? Passing the torch, and there's no problem with passing the torch, but after you pass the torch, keep some credibility. Good grief, they could have had this guy go out like a G. Instead, they made this guy go out like a complete biatch. They done that man dirty. And if the original Shao Kahn saw this, he would be pissed. And I guess that's it. So, oh wait, we got one more slot. <laughs> oh my God, who should the last slot go to, huh? Um, I guess all of y'all want her, so guess what? Thought Sin Del, and I will say no more. Everything has been said a thousand times over, and that's it. People, who got it? Who got done? the dirtiest who was buried the worst and people make sure all of y'all vote it's not hard you click on the card on the screen and vote it takes you two seconds last time about 250 people voted we need more share the video let's get everyone's intake who got hit with that triple h golden shovel the worst